Hello, I'm Tyler Edlin, and welcome back. Today, I have two friends, Kira and returning guest Jessica, to talk about their new project, Encounters with the Imaginary. This is the second volume in their anthology of fantastical art and illustrations. The project that Jessica and I are organizing is called Encounters with the Imaginary, Volume 2. It is an illustrative anthology featuring a bunch of creative writing and fantasy illustration from artists all over the world. Um, and we're following up the successes of last year's volume one. Um, and we are currently on Kickstarter looking for your help to get this published. Um, and I think we're really, really excited for what's to come because it's an even bigger book, even better book. Um, and I think there's a lot of room to grow. Do you have any idea for <laughs> how the total amount of illustrations in this? Oh my gosh, um, Jessica, you might have to back me up on this, but we have As 22 I artists, um, 25 finished pieces. Yeah, there's more, th there's more than that, I think, because um, at least one or two people did two full piece illustrations in their spread, two full page illustrations. So there's probably closer to 30 full page illustrations. And then every spread, there's 25 of them, has three to four supplementary images. So there's there's a significant amount of work in here. There's over 100, over 100 paintings, a lot of cool stuff in there. Yeah, this is something we've been working on pretty much since the start of 2017. So it's been it's been a while in the making, but this particular one, um, it's also a sequel to a book that we successfully crowdfunded and independently published last year. So this is volume two of Encounters of the Imaginary, following up volume one of Encounters of the Imaginary. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so we're definitely building upon last year's successes. We've uh, learned a whole lot. Hindsight is twenty twenty. <laughs> Looking back last year, I think we've had some moments where like, oh. and, and the quality, of course, has gone up as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so everything that's yeah. in this new book is basically new art for all the art, the contributing artists. Is that correct? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, every art Every artist painted like a whole series of illustrations specifically like for their spread in the book. So um, it's all new and original to this volume. So this is a mock-up of our cover with uh, illustration that I have done actually um, and this beautiful design by Jessica. Uh, um, so I'm so happy with how the cover came out. Yeah, that's a beautiful illustration. Yeah, thank you. Um, it was really kind of nice to to highlight one illustration, have like a cohesive look and vision. Um, and we also have some some nice goodies that Jessica mocked up for us. We have some bookmarks that we're going to be offering with our book that match our cover. And then here are some mock-ups of what the interior might look like. This particular artwork is by an artist named uh, Maxwell Crable. And I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name, Maxwell, but this is kind of what you can expect. There's a bit of creative writing here, titled The Creative Writing, some supplementary pieces that Maxwell has created to accompany his artwork and his writing. For each spread, each artist was able to create a full page nine by 12 illustration. They were given four pages. And so the first the first two pages, they have the, the nine by 12 full page illustration. And then they created three to four, sometimes five supplementary illustrations that all relate to that main full page illustration. And then the, the creative writing also ties in with their main illustration. So does each picture then essentially have like a small short story to go with it? Or is it text about how the image was created? It's all creative writing. So last year we felt we had a little bit of creative writing and a little behind the scenes artist process. And we decided that we wanted to focus more on the creative content. And instead of doing a little bit of everything and not doing very much of it, we instead gave them four pages to fill with this creative writing and the whole series of illustrations. Awesome. So. Um, and then we have some uh, peaks of the art itself. This is a piece by an artist named uh, Mogli So I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name. That's probably uh, going to be a common theme. I have a reputation <laughs> for not getting names right. That's perfectly cool. Oh. At least it keeps the better. consistency Here. with the content that I put out. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then here's a full look at Maxwell's piece, which we saw in our mock-up. Yeah, these are some of the full-page illustrations. Um, this is Manuel's. Lovely stuff. Yeah. yeah, so there's there's a huge variety of style here as well. Um, they're all kind of filling up the, the same amount of space, and it's really kind of interesting to see what what each artist has done with the same amount of space and, you know, the same time frame. And it's really kind of cool to see. 
And I think too, like we tried to focus more rather than focus on style. We wanted to focus more on the, um, like the the substance, the the idea, the story behind the image. Um, so rather than try and come up with like a very consistent style throughout the whole book, we tried to each one be its own little universe, uh, its own little world, its, its imaginary creature that they focused on. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that just reminds me of bringing this piece up. This extra wide piece is one of our uh, chapter illustrations. So each chapter kind of has its own theme. Um, like, So we break the book down even more. It's like Jessica said, each um, artist sort of has its own, uh, has their own story and microcosm and, and world they're building. And then with um, a little bit larger than that, each chapter kind of has its own theme. So this is for a chapter called Crux, which is a little more... Um, uh, I guess a little bit more about danger and well, that's really interesting. Um, less peaceful creatures. Um, so anyway, this is um, for the cover of this chapter, and it's a little bit larger. It's 18 inches as opposed to 12. Yeah, for the, the chapter illustrations, we're having them span like um, one and a half pages. So it's almost a two-page two spread um, for each chapter. How, how many chapters mm -hmm. can we expect in the, the product? There's five chapters, and each chapter has at least five spreads in so it. So it's, it's like so a five, different play four. on the theme of Encounters with the Imaginary? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a good way to put it. <laughs> but this, these pieces are um, supplementary illustrations that go with the main illustrations. Mm -hmm. Like, this is one of the supplementaries that Kira did with her illustrations used on the, the cover of the book. Yeah, and then... Um, this is a piece by Carlin Tan that goes with the rabbit piece that we looked at earlier. Oh, and <laughs> I love this piece, the super fun piece by Jessica. Jessica's piece. <laughs> I actually did two spreads for the book. Um, there were a few artists that did that. So um, we have over 20 artists, but we have over 25 spreads. So there's, there's a lot of content. Yeah, filling in this up one. those pages piece by Jessica. So these supplementary pieces are still, in fact, full-on illustrations that in them than themselves. Uh, in terms of yeah. like the content and the quality, there's there's not a dip of either of that. Yeah, yeah we definitely. Wa we wanted it to feel like they were like a series of illustrations that they all reinforced each other mm -hmm. um, and built on each other. Yeah. Which it actually like was really fun to work on. Um, to be able to to build upon the, the first illustration and, and try and come up with these different ways to approach the same story and the same characters and theme. It was a lot of fun. Awesome. So what's the story behind the artists that are gathered and participating into this book? Are they all working professionals or are they, they bits and parts from all over you know the spectrum in terms of, of what type of work they do and where they work? Uh, give us a little backstory on how, how you guys all came together for this. Um, well, originally we all came together, um, we, we were in a class together, um, a painting drama one with Chris Oatley. And one of the nice things about the class was it was very like uh, community driven. Like we always, you know, we're participating with our cameras on and interacting with each other. And when the class ended, then we were kind of like, well, we don't want to, we don't want to go away. Uh, so we were we were all you know wondering we don't want the we don't want that community spirit to go away we don't want to lose that kind of motivation that we were getting interacting with each other and working with each other so Kira originally said do you guys want to work on an art video or I'm sorry an art book and we were like yeah that that could be fun and so we kind of like threw around some ideas and decided you know what we wanted to work on and then we we're like well if we're making an art book why don't we work on a Kickstarter as well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and learn how to do it and, you know, trial by fire, at least we'll all be doing it together. And so, you know, there were so many things that we had to learn along the way. It was kind of like just this, you know, like experiment to see. And it was also good because working in a group, we all had different skill sets that we could bring to bear on yeah. the project. And so like what one of us couldn't do by ourselves, there was always someone else in the group that had more expertise towards it. And then, um, and then, you know, the Kickstarter was a huge success. We got almost 150% funded and we got the book printed and, you know, we learned so much about it, like the whole process. And so this year we came back to it and, you know, we decided that we wanted to keep going with the project, that there was something there of value, like in the book itself and in the interaction. 
And so, um, you know, was, we brought more artists in and it kind of just reaching out to people in the community that, you know, we respected, we respected their work and asked if they were interested in, in participating. And so we've kind of just grown organically ourselves with the artists that are a part of the project now. And hopefully next year we'll have even more artists and grow even more. I saw you have a copy of the first one behind you. So at some point you should uh, hold it up and do a quick thumb through to show everybody <laughs> kind of a little where you guys came from. Not to derail anything you guys, but I just thought it'd be interesting if people could kind of see what, you know, they'll, they can really expect from this and in, in regards to the quality and how many illustrations. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. yeah so this is actually the, the copy of the first volume. They came out really nice. We we're really happy with how they were printed. A uh, perfect bound, like very finished looking professional books. Um, I don't know if if anyone can... wants to come back, and, is it possible that they can you know, order this and, and still get a copy of the first volume? Oh, yeah, definitely. We, we actually have some of our Kickstarter tiers. Mm -hmm. um, some of our Kickstarters, you can actually get both volumes of the book. And you could also purchase this book as an add-on um, in the Kickstarter as well if you want to get a different tier that doesn't include it. So these are definitely, we have we have a bunch of them available. So Amazing. if you, you don't want the second volume, you're totally welcome. <laughs> I don't know. You don't get, like the, the, the home shopping channels. Here we are. <laughs> it's good stuff. Exactly. I've, I've seen it. I've looked at the book, everybody. It's, it's, it's quality stuff. If you're a sucker for so, um, yeah. we're so excited to build upon last year and hopefully going into the future yeah better. if you're a sucker for creative imaginary illustrative works this this is a great book for your shelf yeah and i think it's really cool like just seeing like the possibilities like in years to come like seeing more artists See, like giving giving people this template of like, you know, you have these this many pages, create a series, create a story, and just see what people come back with, um, how they explore the, you know, the imaginary creature that they choose. So it's a lot of fun. It's a fun project to work on. Yeah, um, and I had a, I just brought up a photo of a print that Jessica had actually been working on. This is a little bit, um, I guess, specific to the Kickstarter, but this is a hand embellished print by Jessica Levi. Um, it's the earlier piece that we've shown, but she's actually embellished it with gold paint by hand. And this is one of our uh, one of our higher end reward tiers as well. And I thought this was such a beautiful photo. Awesome. So will there be uh, multiple artists contributing these size prints that if they back it at certain levels, will be able to, I, I assume, get with the book, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, it, we, we decided to have these, they're, they're G clay, so they're archival. Um, quality prints printed on Somerset velvet. They're, they come out really nice. Um, and they're all supplementary illustrations. So they're not the normal, like all the, we have all the illustrations in the book, the full page nine by 12s available for prints, but the hand embellished eclays are only the supplementary prints. You can't get them at the normal prints. So these are kind of like a special, special little tier of illustration of prints. Um, and then, of course, we've already seen the cover of the last book, but these are copies Spoiler of last year's alert. book. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, and again, this is uh, volume two, and, and I think those are all the, the sneak peeks I have for you. Um, kind of going back a few steps, the group that Jessica had mentioned that when we came together as a group, we called each other, called ourselves a bunch of press, and this is kind of the, the overall company that helps us you know run things our little umbrella company so as of this video everyone will be able to click the link below check out your campaign page and see if they you know want to uh, you know support your project which you know i hope they do because this is um this is really awesome help us help us bring it to life and get it printed share all this art that everybody has spent the last six months creating yeah, this is a, a book by artists for artists so absolutely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, we're going to be hosting a giveaway um, as of this video. There should be a link up. Um, we're hosting a giveaway, three separate giveaways on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where we have the, this post up. Here, let me share the post. So we're going to be hosting a giveaway um, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where anyone who shares this post will be entered into a giveaway to win the prize package. And the prize package has volume one, Three nine by eighteen 
illustrations from the chapters, a nine by 12 illustration from the book, the full set of 20 illustrations as 20 mini prints, a 12 by 18 print of the If Wishes Were Fishes, which is actually the cover for our coloring book, and some extra goodies like the little sweet cats um, mini prints. So it, it's a huge package of prints and art and book um, for anyone that's willing to share this and help us get eyes on the Kickstarter and get this printed. So, and if you want to tag somebody in it, then you'd be entered twice into the contest. Very helpful. Very <laughs> awesome. Smart marketing. Yeah, there you go. Free stuff, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies, thanks for coming on today, and I hope your project is, you know, hugely successful. And we'll be doing. Oh, thank yeah. you. And I hope to do more of these with you, of course, in the in the future as a result of that. Yeah, great. Thanks so much for the signal boost. It means a lot. So, yeah, sorry guys who came this week looking for some art instructional videos to check out last week's again, if if that's the case. But yeah, we got to promote the low, you know, the the small time artists as well. So, yeah, awesome. <laughs>